points let's study the signs of hyperinflation on the chest x ray so look at the x ray the visibility of anterior ribs will be 7 to 8 ribs and the posterior ribs will be 9 to 10 ribs in a hyperinflated x ray whereas on a normal x ray you see only 6 to 7 ribs visible the 7th or 8th rib will cut the diaphragm third point there will be flattening of the diaphragm so that you can see the hyperinflated lung fourth point the shape of the heart will be tubular in shape fifth point there will be narrowing or crowding of the ribs that can be seen so these are the signs of x ray of a hyperinflated lung now what are the other signs of hyperinflation first there will be upward displacement of the sternum and the clavicles second there will be increased anterior posterior thoracic diameter third there will be loss of cardiac dullness at the lower sternal edge fourth low flat diaphragm as we have already seen on the chest x ray fifth there will be prolonged expiration as compared to inspiration fifth pursed lip breathing and use of accessory muscles during exacerbation sixth in drawing of the intercostal space during mid inspiration which is also called as hoover signs seventh use of accessory muscles of respiration eighth trapoid position that is to use the pectoralis muscle to pull the ribs outward during the inspiration and 10th if in early childhood there is a hyperinflated lung there will be pectus carinatum so these are the signs of hyperinflation remember all the signs